Well, hello. So today we're going to talk about the systematic racist attack that Milo, what's his last name, Yiannopoulos, decided to create in order to go after Leslie Jones. Who does an organized systematic racist attack on Twitter and then later when their profile gets banned claims there's no freedom of speech? <laughs> so we're going to talk about freedom of speech. We're going to talk about Milo. Yeah, Milo Y. <laughs> Milo Y. And the hilarious sense of humor of the light. The hilarious sense of humor of the light. So just to rewind, backtrack, backtrack on it. So what happened? So first it started with the hatred towards Ghostbusters. Uh, people were like, Ghostbusters is coming. Oh, I'm hey, oh, that's so angry. Women are there and it sucks. It's just going to suck. And so <laughs> there was like a lot of hatred. So in the process of that hatred, this character, Milo Yiannopoulos, popped up and he was the one leading the particular hateful speech towards Leslie Jones specifically because he I guess it had something to do with the movie I'm not quite sure but uh so Twitter so Leslie over the weekend I mean they just they just on Facebook with the racist things they just went after her it was just a horrible thing it was a horrible thing horrible thing and it was a systematic attack, so it wasn't a random thing. It was just they, they, their effort was to break this person down. It was terrorism. It was social terrorism. It really was. Um, and then they wonder why Twitter shut them down? Are you kidding me? Are you First and foremost, you do not have freedom of speech on Twitter or Facebook. You don't because they're private companies. Now, you have freedom of speech to say whatever you want, but if you're going to buy the microphone, you better pay for the microphone, and sometimes the microphone has rules. So that's where freedom of speech kind of comes into an interesting pass, because the microphone is owned by somebody else. So, um, and in this particular situation, I believe and I hope that they ban him for life from ever using Twitter. And so that's the the thing i i mean i once you do this to a person there's got to be some kind of equivalent of of jail time right the, i mean this was a terrorist attack upon a human being on an individual human being um so there's got to be some kind of jail time so i assume and you know that forever banning him is a great option so kudos to twitter for forever banning him a permanent i believe they've have permanently banned him so because of the previous situations that have happened i believe that they have permanently banned him so the hashtag free milo popped up now this is hilarious this is where the light comes in and this is really beautiful the hashtag free milo popped up and people were retreating free milo free milo free milo only to realize <laughs> <laughs> that it had to do with the drink Milo or Milo in Australia. It's a ch delicious chocolatey drink made by Nestle. <laughs> so people thought that they were getting free Milo. So that's what happened. Uh, ultimately, it's a horrible thing that happened to Leslie Jones. It was an attack on the Ghostbusters movie, and they specifically targeted Leslie Jones. It's just it's. You know, Leslie Jones is really having the time of her life. I mean, she's on SNL. She is starring in Ghostbusters. She's starring in other movies. People love her. Just the whole universe is gravitating towards, you know, the hilarity that is Leslie Jones. And for this to happen is just not, not a cool thing. Not a cool thing. And I, I, I mean, and I say not a cool thing in a very, like, I mean, it just... It, 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 I've spoken so much about it. I don't mean to make light out of it, but I've spoken so much about it that it's just not a cool thing. It's like my defeated, like, seriously, like, this is really who some people are. Like, they're going to attack a human being. Like, and then, then they complain that they're, <laughs> that they're getting banned. I'm like, well, what goes around comes around. You understand that. Those are the laws of the universe. The way you treat others is the way you will be treated. So it's just going to keep going on and on and on and on until there is a shift and a change. So I feel really horrible that this happened to Leslie Jones. And I hope that people show her love and go see the Ghostbusters movie and understand that 
this is a message, you know, this is really a message from the light of the creator, I believe, in order for people to go see Ghostbusters, because the light of the creator wants us to bridge into the scientific element of understanding ghosts and what does it mean and, and physical and physics and astrophysics and, and theoretical particle physics and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, because that's there's various different alternate realities and it, Ghostbusters is really knocking on the door of allowing us to understand all of that. That's why there is a great deal of, of hatred. But Leslie Jones, hmm, why Leslie Jones? I think that, that uh, you will see, of course, Leslie Jones become uh, the next Whoopi Goldberg, if not a completely different person. Well, of course, she's because she's a per completely different persona. But to that level of cal Whoopi Goldberg is an icon. We love her. We love she could do anything. And she literally could be cast in anything and we would go see it. Uh, and Leslie Jones is becoming that. And she is becoming that, that powerful force and hero. So that's why there is this. But I stand with Leslie Jones. Do you stand with Leslie Jones? Uh, do you, what do you think about this whole situation? I think that she's a beautiful human being. I love that red dress girl. Um, and she's hilarious. She's just a hilarious, beautiful human being. I would love, if I had the money, I would love for her to be a model or a spokesperson for my brand. You know, Leslie, will you do it for free? <laughs> will you wear the t-shirts for free and take pictures with me? Hey, that rhymes, right? I don't know. Maybe she will. Uh, to get her mind off of all this BS that has happened. And I'm really sorry, Leslie, that it's happened. I'm speaking way too much because this is really, I'm really passionate about this and the secrets that are being revealed among the situation. And, but um, pray for Leslie. Pray for Leslie. Give her light. Send her light. I wish you all a wonderful year.